Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the backfire effect, which um, is essentially the notion that when uh, someone is presented with evidence that contradicts a position they hold, the reaction is for them to actually uh, become more dug down and in their beliefs and believe their belief system to be even stronger. And this, this is like cognitive dissonance too. Once you stir up the cognitive dissonance, they support their position stronger. Yeah. Uh, to push down because it's very uh, cognitively uncomfortable, like makes them not feel good, right? Yeah. And so uh, before so getting in, do it. before getting into more like concrete examples of it, um, a more abstract example would be uh, like, let's say someone held belief A and another person provided them with belief B, or, or I should say, like, let's say a study that shows why belief A is flawed. Uh, the person with belief A might do two, one of two things or both, right, which are both the backfire effect. They might just dismiss it altogether and be like, like, find all these reasons to attack you and think, yeah, my position's even greater now because, I mean, this person couldn't even dismiss it or or couldn't even show that I was wrong. But the person literally just like dismissed the research. The other reaction would be that they dig into the research you provided and try to find any type of criticism to show why that research isn't a valid critique. And then they think their position's stronger because they're like, yeah, this study couldn't do that. But they came at it with a biased mindset where they didn't fairly and objectively evaluate that research. They looked at it through a hypercritical lens and tried to find every single flaw and then I, I usually walk around or walk away from people like this right away. You're much more patient than me when people start doing that. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it really depends on the topic because here are the more concrete examples. Fundamentally, backfire effect is going to be encountered when you're dealing with ideologicals, like ideological systems rather than just ideas. Which it's very rare to find someone that isn't dug into some ideology right now yeah like some 100 like either it yeah i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna rant well but. i'm sure i'm sure the people watching or listening could think of ideologies that where people are very polarized uh you have political ideologies you have the various different types of religion you have dietary ideologies especially people that you know associate with veganism carnivorism or my, my or new favorite is the evidence-based medicine that is just as bad as the quacks oh yeah so they're doing the same damn thing but on different sides yeah and yeah, i'm just you like have i can't the, the super quote-unquote evidence-based medicine side and then you have the polar opposite which is like the pseudoscientific anti-vax people anti-vax that type of thing uh and obviously the issues are different in these groups, but they're still ideologies. Um, like, you know, and they can't look at the evidence subjectively. Yeah, exactly. And so it backfires. Exactly. <laughs> One group might promote a bunch of really low quality evidence, for example, pseudoscientific evidence, like they are just basically promoting bull crap. And the evidence-based crowd can't deviate away from their position stands or what authoritative bodies say to acknowledge that logical speculation is a part of science right yeah there's like a middle ground yeah exactly. Um, but both dig in dig their heels in yeah and once someone digs in like that i see like the backfire effect and i'm like i'm out yeah you'll sit there and you'll debate a little while and then you leave but <laughs> yeah you know, it's basically but that that's that's exactly what it is is people you present someone with some form of evidence that shows why their current belief system is wrong and they find some way to use it to strengthen their own argument rather than you know objectively evaluating it now that now that isn't to say people can't do that like some people do honestly objectively evaluate something and they could give you a, a piece by piece about why it it's not persuasive for their current belief system and that might involve uh, breaking down certain aspects of the study, and it might involve bringing up some other research that supports their position that also counteracts parts of the study or whatever, right? Yeah, I think the backfire effect is pretty easy to see because they are not willing to even look. 
yeah for anything that you're saying they're not like i see what you're saying but this is my position or they can't appreciate the good in something so like if they do critique uh like research that you put forth they they do so with uh, like what appears with to be agenda. a very attent lens of showing that's wrong instead of acknowledging yeah, it's an agenda. limitations and just like being more neutral about them right yeah like you can plainly see they have an agenda going in they're biased they have a goal that they want to reach rather than uh you know intellectual discourse like yeah honest yeah like seeing where each other are coming from yep exactly um, anything else? All right. Awesome. So yeah, this was the backfire effect. And if you like this video, great. That's what we're trying to do. Give the video a like, maybe share, share it with someone who you think would appreciate this information. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks Bye. everyone.